Cancers! Welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading from today to the 15th, technically for the first half of December, but thank you guys for being so patient. Oh, I don't have my rings on! Hold on. I, I, I need my rings. I need my rings. Give me a second. I didn't realize I did not have them on. How interesting. Because um, Cancer, when I was meditating on your energy, by the way, if you're new to tarot, I don't understand how energy work uh, functions or the guidelines are. I have a really good video, kind of like a crash course on it uh, for my new watchers or new viewers. So go ahead and check that out before you get into this reading. Because um, the energy I was picking up with you, I feel like you're going towards something head on, like very focused energy. And I was like, for that, I would think you're prepared or you're preparing to do that. And I'm like, oh, my rings are like the final preparation for reading. So that's interesting. I forgot to do that. Uh, careful, you might you might have a misstep in whatever plan or whatever thing that you're going towards. You might have a misstep because you didn't plan for something. I don't know. Oh, oh, this is weird. Cancers, your work. <laughs> Cancers, why am I feeling over planning with that? Because it's like, that's a small thing that I missed, right? It's like, Whatever you're planning or whatever you're going towards where there's a plan in place, I think you've thought about it a lot. I think you've had a lot of planning involved in it. And it's like, you might forget one thing or one step and you might put too much emphasis on that one thing you forgot. I don't think it's that important. Okay, so just keep that in mind. A little over planning there. Anyway, <laughs> cancers. So what I saw was really cool. I actually saw a knight, like very Renaissance like kind of energy, medieval times kind of energy. Like I literally saw a knight with like red what would you call that like finishings accessories <laughs> red accessories and on a black horse like go, just going for it very knight of wands but the black horse really stuck out to me which just screams death card or death energy to me death energy is very um indicative of the time that we are in and going into into 2020 okay but ooh, <laughs> ow oh i thought like i just got stabbed in my third eye ow oh that hurts okay Cancers, you might have a lot of third eye stuff going on. Wow, that really fucking hurt, guys. Anyway, um, you're really gung-ho. You're really focused. Keep in mind how energy works. This could be someone that you're connecting with or someone in your environment uh, physically or energetically. Um, but that, they're literally showing me that, like like someone going, they've got like a little jousting thing and it's like they've got their target. They know what they have to do. They know what they have to go towards. Going in there with a lot of like just passion and energy. Um, and it's interesting because when I first attempted to do your reading before I did the live video earlier on YouTube, I tried to do this cancer read and I heard home is where the heart is. I feel like I've had that message for you before and I feel like I was reliving a timeline, to be honest with you. Um, so if I've done it, I've had that before for you, it's probably just coming up again. But that's very cancerian. Home is where the heart is for you. You are a cancer. That is like, that should be cancer's motto, that home is where the heart is. And I feel like with this like night going forward energy, whether you... Whoa, do you guys hear that too? That's gotta be just me. I felt a major pitch all of a sudden. Um, I'm just really tapped into you guys. Anyway, for some of you, there is a very like long-term plan or long-term planning process that's a part of this. Others, you're just getting up and going. You're following your heart. Oh, <laughs> cancers. Uh, you are, you're following your heart and it's very amazing and you're feeling very powerful about it. Why did I just hear Black Knight? Oh, I know I've had that message before sometime the last few months. I actually like it was for a Scorpio read though. I don't feel like it's negative. It actually just feels very powerful. Very powerful. Who can says I'm liking it? So for the primary, I am primary, finishing my words. Uh, I'm actually using the spellcasters deck. All the decks I use are linked below. Um oh, fuck, cancer. Ow. Ouch. Okay. Mm. I know the full moon's tomorrow, but damn. Okay, cancers. Let's get into this. Getting into the pre-shuffle. Please have any messages of, ooh, something about change. Um, <coughs> holy crap, hold on a second. Mm. <clears throat> so all of a sudden I'm getting all these little pains. Um, some of you guys might be experiencing like pains like that. Oh, now I'm feeling it like right in the middle of my back. Oh, that's killing me. And my third eye and my throat. Okay, some of you guys are having some ascension stuff. Oh, this is actually really distracting and painful. Hold on a second. Wow. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, Cancers. So change. I feel like you're almost like riding the winds of change. I feel like change is going in your favor. It's going in your favor. It might have been giving you some anxiety or making you uneasy, but it feels very positive feels very positive. I'm actually seeing the Wheel of Fortune in the Queen of Cups. 
please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Jupiter is playing a role, is what I just heard. That's what they just told me. Jupiter is playing a big role for you. So maybe just check your Jupiter placement. Because I'm like, what is Jupiter doing right now? Jupiter's in Capricorn now, in Tropic. I want to really emphasize that, in Tropic. I'm going to double check the aspects today for the full moon. So there might be something there. Uh, the new moon actually had a lot of Jupiter stuff. A lot. Jupiter's playing a role for you. It's playing a role for you. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Or you could have a strong Sag placement. Uh, please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. I just heard Capricorn for Cancer. <laughs> oh, regarding love for the first half of December. You could have a night coming towards you, Cancer, because it can be vice versa. So I'm getting a lot of energy from you guys, and now it's like affecting me physically. Still acclimating to handling all this energy. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. That's exactly what they were showing me, too. Jupiter! <laughs> oh, I love when that shit happens. Uh, yeah, things are changing and everything, and it's going in your favor. It's going in your favor. I think you're going to be really surprised, too, because I feel like if for those of you who are playing the night, there's a lot of passion, a lot of drive, and it feels like you're either surprising people around you if you're playing the night. If the night's coming to you, you're going to be very surprised here, okay? And I was getting Knight of Wands with that, which is Sag, and now we have the Queen of Wands. Aries could also be fire or water. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, Positive change going in, in the direction of a feminine energy because I saw the Queen of Cups earlier and now we have a Queen of Wands energy. I feel like they're the same people in Cancer. I do feel like this is you, but like I said, it can be vice versa. Someone who's very, very sexy. <laughs> Whoever's looking at this person, they think this person's incredibly sexy and attractive. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of power. Cancers, if you resonate with feminine energy or this Queen's energy, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands energy, you're feeling very powerful, like very, very powerful. It's undeniable and people are noticing and not just that, but you are really fucking owning it. And I like it. I really, really like it. Uh, oh, it just, I'm sorry. It just feels really incredible. It almost feels like an adrenaline rush is kind of how this feels. Someone could be surprising you and that could be giving you an adrenaline rush, but look at, look at this bitch. Look, look at her. She's powerful. She's powerful and she's not to be messed with. It feels really good. Cancer. Oh, and now we've got a page of swords. I feel communication coming into this queen. Yeah, it feels like it's coming from a knight energy. So cancers, decide who you are. The queen energy, male or female, receiving the energy from a knight or vice versa. But it feels powerful. It feels amazing. This queen's been watched a lot, a lot, and thought of a lot. Like if they haven't been able to, if, if this knight hasn't, Jesus, if this knight hasn't been able to, that sounds like horrible English. If this knight hasn't, yeah, hasn't been, <laughs> been able to watch this queen, they've been thinking about this queen a lot, and there's about to be communication happening here. Ooh, feels very fiery, very fiery for a Cancer read. Someone that might have strong fire placements or dealing with a fire sign, it's just very fiery. Someone could be harnessing a lot of Sag energy. We are still in Sag season. Wow. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, interesting, though. We do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. This queen's very distracting to people. <laughs> uh, this queen, who I do feel like is you, so that's how I'm going to run with it. If it's vice versa, you know your story. This queen is very distracting to other people. Look at this. This is someone who is just like, eyes on the queen. <laughs> I'm not working. I can't focus on work. I can't get shit going because I'm just focused on this queen here. Uh, the person who's doing this watching, again, it feels very much like a knight or knight of wands specifically kind of energy. I feel like they're experiencing a lot of change within themselves. There's a lot of change going on between these two people. This queen's going in, going through a lot of change and it's going in that queen's favor. This person's going through a lot of change and might even feel a little unstable. They're looking to this queen like this queen is like, oh shit, like that that's who I need to talk to. That's who I need to be involved with. If I if I can, ooh, to get through this change, to get through this change, this person's feeling a little unstable, which I think is why this person's feeling ready to get up and go and do something about it. Yeah, to get up and go and do something about it. I just heard work isn't going as planned for this person. Work specifically, that's only going to be for a few of you. Work is not going as planned. 
Let's see here. Oh my. Oh, I don't love this combo. Oh, sorry, my back. I don't usually have back pain. So it's it's definitely some of you guys or this. I feel like it's actually the night. Ow. Okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy with the Seven of Cups, uh, Scorpionic energy. It's almost like, yeah, yeah, there's there's something going on with this knight energy. We have no knights on the board, right? This knight energy that's looking at this queen. There's there's re They're really in an unstable place. Something's going on with them with their stability, whether it's money or where they live or even just their confidence. I feel like money and work is at the core of that. And they're trying to figure out what to do. They're trying to figure out what to do. For some, like I said, it could be pure confidence issue. They're trying to figure out what to do and they're looking at this queen like, the queen has the answer. The queen has the key. Wow. Okay. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. All right, Cancer. Let's get into your reading. Ooh. Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of December? Someone's getting sexier by the day. I don't know if that's good getting in here. Oh, someone's like, someone's really got the hots. This is, yeah, someone's really got the hots here. Like, I, I feel a masculine energy, like, in their head is like, oh, my God, they're getting sexier by the day. Like, and they're, like, <laughs> they're getting, like, really turned on. Anyway, it's interesting. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages? Oh, oh, okay. Ace of Swords in reverse, and then three cards were dying to come out here. Interesting. The Five of Pentacles in reverse again. With the Four of Cups in reverse, then we have a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth. Ooh. Or water. Uh-oh. Something's going on here with this queen. Um, is it the same queen? Why does this energy feel so different? It feels like a... Oh, geez. Sorry. I got so comfortable. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it feels like a projection. It feels like a projection on this queen, a projection of like abandonment, rejecting. That's how that feels. Like whoever's projecting on this queen, they're projecting an energy of the queen has rejected me or the queen doesn't want me or the queen will, or yeah, or the queen will just straight up reject me. That's what I'm getting with that. But it's coming out with uh, the ace of swords in a verse, which is illusions. Yeah, it feels like a projection. It doesn't feel real. It feels like someone's projection onto another human being. Any other messages for Cancer? And it is interesting because I got Capricorn earlier and this is the Capricorn court card. Any other messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of December? Interesting. Yeah, it feels like a projection. Any messages for Cancer? It's not Christmas time yet, but I want to say Merry Christmas. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe someone just really likes Christmas. <clears throat> or is doing an early Christmas. Oh, some of you are doing an early Christmas. Any messages for, uh, I almost said messages for Christmas. <laughs> Any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of December? Let's see here. Oh, and then we got a page of pentacles. Oh, it's making my heart feel some kind of way. I feel like this is the night. Why do I feel like they're confused? Oh, this is interesting. I feel like this is the night that I was picking up on, but they're confused and they're trying to figure something out. Page of Pentacles can be a card of study, analyzation as well. Um, looking for stability. Like I said, they're very unstable. This night's very unstable, which is why they're looking to the queen of like, that's where my stability lies. But it, yeah, it's this energy of like, they've already rejected me or... They're going to reject me. They won't look at me. How do I deal with this? What do I do? I like, I don't know why I want to do this. This person might move a lot, like physically, or like talk with, they talk with their body. Okay, interesting. Over energy, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. Virgo, instability. Instability. I feel like this knight wants to um, have a commitment with this queen. Whether you have a history with them or not, some of you, some of you queens have a history with this knight, which is why this this knight is like, oh, they're gonna reject me, they're gonna reject me, because maybe there was some rejection that already took place between the two of you. Others, it's a confidence issue that they need to work through, and I feel like they're gonna find it. I feel like they're gonna find their little like 
heart of courage there to be like, no, I can do this and like come and go talk to the queen. Some of you, this is a new person who's had their eye on you or who's been thinking about you or it could even be someone who's a friend right with the page of pentacles we have a lot of pentacles could also be someone at work who you haven't been involved with yet queens so just know that i think for most of you it's someone that you have never been with in a romantic situation before whether you know them as a friend a coworker, or they're totally new to you and somehow they've caught wind of who you are and they have you on their mind like the guy at the coffee shop right uh, or girl at the coffee shop um, but some of you do have a history here, which is why they're afraid of getting rejected because there's already been a rejection taking place. So decide who you are um, or what applies to you. But yeah, let's start with the first card with the Ace of Swords in reverse because I just feel straight up illusion with that. Illusion and confusion. So let's take a look. Um, yeah, I'm feeling radiant wise for this one. <sighs> okay, that back pain has subsided. That was weird and very uncomfortable. I'm not used to having back pain like that. Do the Ace of Swords in reverse. Talk about Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancer for the first half of December. There's something about December. Hold on a second. This is only going to be for like a few of you. Every December? The first? Okay. These messages are for very specific people. So... If it rings the bell to you or makes you feel some kind of way or gives you or triggers a download for you, accept it, okay? It's definitely for very specific people here and it might be all different people. The first December, every December in 12 rounds. Those are for very specific people. I just got the chills. Okay. So I'm about Ace of Swords in reverse. It might be your first December with somebody. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, it might be your first December with someone and like the first of many. Oh, that's really sweet. I like that. Oh, I really like that. So I have the Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancer for the first half of December. Time with the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm liking this night. I'm liking this night. I have to say, I'm really liking this night. Time about Ace of Swords. Uh, yep what did I say confusion <laughs> seven of cups cancer uh, Scorpio might be with another cancer um yeah it's it's just illusion it's it's not real like this lack of confidence issue it's not based in anything that's real or tangible it's like it's someone in it's someone's insecurities it's someone's insecurities for those where there's a history where there might have been a rejection it might have been a total misunderstanding a total misunderstanding okay so just know that most of you don't have a his. Most of you don't have, like, where are my words? Most of you have not been with this person, like, in, in a committed relationship. Most of you not have not had a committed relationship with this person. So I have my Ace of Swords in reverse. Who are resonating with this? So I have my Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancer for the first half of December. Oh, wow. Six of Cups. Scorpionic energy. There's the Scorpio. More, wow, more Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio here. Oh, the warm and fuzzies. I'm sorry, Cancer. This is really cute. Yeah, whoever this night is, they feel very warm and fuzzy, but they're so fucking confused on what on how to go about this. So confused on how to go about this. Um, yeah, now I'm getting that planning energy. Like trying to figure out the best approach. I can't get off the warm and fuzzies. I can't get off of that. You might have had a past life with this person. Many, I'm hearing many, many past lives with this person. They feel, oh, they feel like family. They feel like family. This is really cute. They feel like family. For those, like I said, where there's been a history of rejection, because that does apply to a small group of you. It's a small group. I really wanted to reiterate that. It's a small group where there's been rejection here. It's just confused on how that all happened and what to do about it, you know? Let's keep going. So I have the Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancer for the first half of December. Why is a tower sticking out to me? I feel a tower moment attached to this. I've never noticed that, the tower in the background. I've never noticed that in my entire life. That's so funny. I've never noticed that. Yeah, I like, I feel a tower moment wrapped up in this. Um, if you have a history of rejection with this person, that's what that tower is referring to. Rebuild, rebuilding the tower properly. Oh, 
Wanting to rebuild the tower properly for those where it's a history of rejection. For those where this is more of a newer connection or at least a, a, a new exclusive commitment that's on the board or possible, hearing possible, it might come with a tower moment. It might come with a tower moment. Tower moments are bad. They can also just be awakenings, right? It's not bad, but the tower is definitely standing out to me. Talk about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Talk about the Ace of Swords in reverse. For Cancer, oh, there's an Emperor. There's the Knight. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. The Emperor with the Magician. I almost said Knight again. Um, Aries energy could also be Taurus for me. Oh. <coughs> Give me a second, guys. Oh, man. This person's about to talk. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this person's about to talk. This is your night. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Mars energy. Uh, also, Aries and Taurus. Aries is Mars. <laughs> Oh, I'm just so sensitive right now with the magician, which is Mercurial. So Virgo and Gem, uh, also Aqua and Squirt for me as a reader. Both of these cards are divine masculine energy, both of them. Wow. It's interesting because it's like they started out kind of as a page, a knight, and it's like, wow. I'm getting so much, I'm getting so much power off of these two cards for this person. Once this person can step past the illusions and confusions of their own insecurities or whatever these illusions stem from for them, because I feel like wherever they stem from, it's not based in reality, wherever these confusions stem from. Um, it could have been that they've just had a, like a warped perception from external forces, but whatever it is, it's not based in reality. And once they push that, push past that and go for what they want, oh my God, are they going to feel powerful? I just got to hold that up. They're going to feel so fucking powerful. Wow, Cancer's like I said, it can't be vice versa. This could be you. Overall energy, look, the Page of Cups. Honest communication. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm actually hearing love letter. <laughs> oh my, oh my. I actually heard love letter. Of course, in this day and age, that can be digital. Wow. If you have a history of rejection with this person, they're apologizing for the for that rejection or they're apologizing for um, any miscommunication or misunderstandings that led to an energy of rejection. This is beautiful, Cancer. I love this freaking energy. I so love this. So let's look at this. Because they're looking at this queen and having that projection from, you know, a very confused, not realistic point of view of like, they're going to reject me. They're going to reject me. Or you have a history with them. So there is rejection already taking place. Like, how could I make up for that? Right? Um, I want to look at this queen, though. I want to look at this queen because that's all this energy is. It's just that projection of rejection. <laughs> projection of projection yeah let's look at this queen here um let me use cosmic for this one interesting empress is at the bottom just picking it up tell me about queen of pentacles oh geez i thought something felt weird on my face <laughs> tell me about the queen of pentacles for cancer for the first half of december tell me about this queen of pentacles please I can't stop looking at that tower. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. Keep in mind, guys. Um, oh, I realized I didn't do my whole intro. <laughs> I just jumped right in. Uh, Cancer, yeah, keep in mind... Um, this is for the first half of December, um, but it, time is not linear. So whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're guided to watch this. And this could be, you know, a couple months out. So I'm about Queen of, people have told me that most of my readings for them have been like a month in advance, which is interesting that a lot of people have had that with me. I'm not saying like all my reads are, but that seems to be a theme for a lot of people. So I'm about Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Come on. Tell me about Queen of Pentacles. For Cancer, for the first half of December, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this queen meditates a lot or spends a lot of time 
being very introspective. Interesting. Spends a lot of time being very introspective. Some of the very mature, very mature energy off of this queen, regardless of their age. Seven of, yeah, they are in contemplation. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy here. Well, this emperor is definitely thinking about this, this queen for sure. And that's definitely part of the part of that. But I feel like this queen is doing their own contemplation of investment. This queen's about to make moves. <clears throat> that was interesting. Yeah, this queen is about to make some moves here. Um, I don't think this emperor knows that. I don't think this emperor knows this queen's about to make some moves. This queen is definitely thinking about investments. Improving their investments, expand. I'm getting investment specifically. That could be money. It could also be st stability, right? It could also be just investing in oneself. But I feel major moves and contemplation going on with this queen. And this emperor is looking at this queen like, I want to invest in this queen. I need I need to. I need to invest in this queen. So I have the queen of pentacles. A lot of pentacles here, guys. Talk about the queen of pentacles for cancer for the first half of December. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. Some of these queens are thinking about buying property. I just saw 401k. Yeah, they feel like a lot of financial investments. Yeah, definitely some of these queens are thinking about buying property. Some 401k. Spa? Oh, making your own spa? Oh, that's kind of cool. Or your own like spa product line. Oh, that's really cool. Your own spa product line. I like that. That's really cool. Not to like, you know, but put you on blast. Uh, so I have the Queen of Pentacles. So I have the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. I'm hearing home. Oh, you're the King of Cups. Oh, that makes me feel all fuzzy. Scorp <laughs> Scorpionic energy. Oh, I'm like, why am I getting the giggles and the smiles? Uh, could also be water. I'm hearing fire, but I know it's air. So yeah, there's there's a lot of fire going on here. Oh, this emperor wants to invest in this queen so bad. So bad. Um, there's something up with this king, though. I do feel for most of you, this king is the emperor who's just wanting to invest in this queen. But there's something about this king of cups card. We're going to clarify that in a minute. Talk about the queen of pentacles. Almost said queen of cups. Talk about the queen of pentacles. Overall energy, wow. Princess of Wands, which is like the Page of Wands with the Magician, oh my, with the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, oh, this is cute. This is just too cute. Yep, that same Emperor energy. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of love here. This, it's so cheesy, but it's true. This Emperor is following their heart to their Queen. Definitely following their heart to the queen. Um, this queen's contemplating it, though. I feel like the queen doesn't give a quick response, but they're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking, oh, my God, this is just so much love. Like, I feel like my heart's exploding. Um, yeah, just a lot of freaking love. Oh Let's look at this little longer cancer. You guys really needed this kind of reading. That's freaking beautiful. That's amazing. That's amazing. But there's something with this this King of Cups energy, though. I I, I gotta look into that further. Um, I do, like I said, I do feel for most of you. It's just the Emperor and this Queen. Like that's it. Like, hey, I want to invest in you. You want to invest in me? Like sim like very simple. Most of you have not been in a committed relationship with this person yet, and you're gonna be very surprised. Is what I'm getting. You're gonna be very surprised, Queens. Uh, for the small group of you where there's a history here. We do have Six of Cups and the Four of Cups in reverse with the Five of Pence in reverse with Apology, right? So for those where there's a history here, again, small group of you, there's been an energy of rejection. And I feel like this Emperor is coming in a little insecure, trying to get through that and over that. And once they get through that insecurity, they're going to feel really fucking powerful. Um, and they're going to ask, do you want to invest? And then Queens are going to take your time and, um, to think about that. But I, I really want to look at this King of Cups energy. Um, and then we'll look at the page. Where are we at? Oh, 29 minutes. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, let's look at this King of Cups. Um... I feel compelled to use Kipper for this one, actually. Tell me about the King of Cups. Uh, yeah, for some of you, I'm just getting a problem with communication. Like, there was a miscommunication. Yeah, for some of you, between this queen and this emperor, there was a miscommunication. If the, For those who, where there's a history, 
where I feel like this emperor projected their own assumptions onto this queen of pentacles. And I feel like communication was really short, like really short. And they kind of got their head out of like their head out of that projection. Like, oh shit. Like, why did I think that? That's good. That's only for a couple of you. Interesting. Tell me about the king of cups. Let's see here. Oh, that's so cute that's cute the coffin with a uh, privileged lady privileged lady is definitely this queen for sure it's like the special woman the special lady with concern yeah this king's really worried that they that they're not gonna have a chance with this queen either because of their own insecurity or because of a history of like oh i totally misjudged that i don't know why i thought this out of the other or some kind of rejection that might have taken place in the past okay so just decide how that is for you let's see what else wants to come out that's really cute. Really cute. Tell me about the King of Cups. Yeah, they're in their heads a little bit. Tell me about the King of Cups. We have thoughts. So again, just more of that. A little Nine of Swordsy. Little Nine of Swordsy. Just being in their head like, damn, I hope I didn't fuck this up. Oh, this is so cute. Over energy, we do have the child. Child is an energy of like precious. It's very six of cups. It's it's a precious energy. It's something that makes you feel like a child again. It's something that makes you feel really fucking good, you know? It's also an energy of newness. Of newness. Ooh, and we've got main female right underneath that. A new main female, a new squeeze. Um, or just looking at this feminine energy, like, oh my god, they're so fucking precious. Um No, that is how that feels. I was seeing another thing in the cards, but that didn't feel right. They're telling me to, they're telling me to say it anyway, but it doesn't feel right. Where um, there could be a, like someone could be considering ending something with a very special female energy because of a child they share with another feminine energy. Again, energy, not gender. It, feel, it doesn't feel right to me, but they want me to say that. They want me to say it. So it must be right for somebody. So just to say it again, and like I said, they're telling me to say this, my guides, for those who don't know what that is, um, who I'm talking about, but I don't feel it, but that's what they're telling me, that someone might be considering um, ending something with a very special feminine energy because they share a child with a different feminine energy. Or thinking like maybe a a child is like getting in the way or affect a child maybe a child may be affecting someone's decision or children may be affecting someone's decision okay page of pentacles and then we'll pull some advice yeah let's do right or wait move this one okay i don't know if i'm just really extra sensitive but all the noises here are making me crazy making me very crazy tell me about the page of pentacles i just heard taurus tell me about the page of pentacles for cancer. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Tell me about the page of pentacles for cancer for the first half of December. Tell me about the page of pentacles for cancer for the first half of December. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Gemini Energy. Yeah, just how to get out of the, the energy of instability and insecurity. Again, those illusions, right? because of all the passion like i said this knight's very passionate and it's so funny because I, I saw them as a knight and i see no knight cards when i saw them as a knight ace of wands it's a lot of passion a lot of motivation yeah oh i love it it's just more of the same confirming more of the same i already got uh let's see what else wants to come out here tell me more about the page of pentacles tell me more about the page of pentacles for cancer oh interesting we got the four of cups I feel like it's really getting out of the energy of, of fear of rejection. I really feel like that's what that is. But it's bothering me. It's bothering me that it's still here like that. 
see what else wants to come out. Time over the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, it might take time for this queen to decide. So they might tell this, this masculine energy, be like, look, I just need some time to think about it. That might make them feel a little rejected. But we're going to look into that because that's bothering me. Time over the Page of Pentacles for Cancer for the first half of December. Time of the Page of Pentacles. So I have the Page of Pentacles. I'll get that in a second. Uh, let's see. Ooh, World in Reverse. Okay, I like this. I like this, actually. Yeah, it's that fear of rejection is, is over. That fear of rejection is over. Standing still, being stagnant is over. Going for it, being gung-ho, going for what this person wants, going where their heart is leading them, leading them is exactly what's happening. They're getting unstuck. They're getting unstuck. And overall energy, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. It's just more of the same. This emperor, this masculine energy knows what they want. They're following their heart. They're getting over their insecurities. They're getting over their fear of rejection. Whether there's a long history here or not, most of you have not been with this person in a committed romantic relationship. Some of you, there is a history where there has been some rejection or abandonment, which is why this person has the fear of coming in. This emperor is experiencing some kind of instability for some, even some financial issues, while this queen... Feminine energy is is trying to um, understand how to invest or even expend, expand, not expend, expand their financial circumstances. But it seems like a beautiful coming together. And there's a lot of freaking love here. A lot. Merry Christmas. Okay. Or happy holidays, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pull some cards. I do. I've been liking the goddess deck. I've been liking the goddess deck, even though I'm not going to do these weeklies for much longer. Let's use the goddess deck here. And even for my men that are watching, you can harness this energy too, if you like as a god as i like to say show me the energy for my cancers to harness regarding this spread what energy would benefit my cancers regarding this spread what energy would benefit my cancers to harness regarding this spread okay What energy would benefit my cancers to harness regarding this spread? What energy would benefit my cancers to harness regarding this spread? Ooh, Athena, inner wisdom. I like that for you guys. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Don't delay yourselves emperors i don't think you are to be honest with you i saw how fast you were moving on that horse you're not really delaying all that much uh queens like i said you might take a little time to decide and that's okay that's you're gonna be surprised i keep getting this energy of surprise Let's see what other ones wants to what other ones want to come out excuse me clyde clyde sorry guys give me a second hey hey, hey, hey. come here come here stop destroying things thank you Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That'll only give me a few minutes, but let's go ahead. What other energy should my cancers harness regarding this spread? What other energy should my cancer harness? Cancers harness regarding this spread. My mouth will function. Ooh. And then Quan Yin. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself, Empress. And others, emperors, and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Where is, actually, that goes for my queens too, to be a little more compassionate towards these emperors for those of a history here. Do what you want. I'm just giving advice. You decide your own, you make your own decisions. Okay. Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. I'm happy to assist you. However, you'll be most thrilled when you first consult your own inner bank of knowledge. Oh my, haven't I been saying that for like so long now? It's just interesting because I feel like that's like been the big like message I've been wanting to communicate to people lately. Anyway, for I assure you that the situation is already resolved and that you have access to all the wisdom that the universe supplies. To access this wisdom, you must quiet your mind Surrender all worries and other concerns to the loving and almighty power of the universe. Close your eyes and note the thoughts and feelings that come streaming into your consciousness. If you like, you can ask me to give you a signal that you've heard your inner wisdom correctly. But have faith. I assure you that you have heard and that the guidance brings you and your loved ones very good news indeed. Oh, that's interesting. I, need, I feel like I need to say that again. I assure you that you have heard 
and that the guidance brings you and your loved ones <coughs> very good news indeed <coughs> mm. excuse me mm. oh god okay <clears throat> stop procrastinating <laughs> stop giving away your power to others trust your gut don't second guess yourself you are correct notice recurring ideas and take action on them athena is a powerful and wise grecian goddess who oversees and protects those who call upon her she's the daughter of zeus and her power animals are, are white owls and black pigeons it's all black horse with interesting black pigeons right Although Athena is a warrior goddess, she does battle with wits instead of weapons. You can call upon her for resolving disputes and also for protection. In addition, Athena also, Athena helps with creative projects such as writing arts and crafts. All right, and I'll do Quan, uh, Quan Yin. I think that's how you'd say that. <clears throat> okay. Quan Yin. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Gentleness is the strength behind true power and it comes from feeding yourself with nourishing words, thoughts, deeds, intentions, and all forms of food. Shield yourself from harshness by placing an intention to attract only kind and gentle life lessons and relationships. Transform harshness into gentleness by refusing to see anything but the shining light that's within each person and situation. I feel the need to add and yourself as well, okay? The intention begins with your relationship with yourself. Oh, <laughs> should have hung in there. Be very gentle with yourself in all ways. Be happy, be kind, be sweet, but most of all, be true to you. Release guilt and shame to heaven for healing and transmutation. Keep your thoughts about yourself and others positive. Avoid gossip or bad mouthing of yourself or others. Forgive yourself or another. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> Oh, really making me crazy. Oh, sorry, guys. Don't be so hard on yourself or others. Release perfectionistic tendencies. That's funny. I was picking that up in the beginning. <clears throat> the Eastern goddess Kuan Yin hears all prayers <coughs> and is the essence of purity, nurturing love, and gentle power. Kuan Yin. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I have to pause. I need a break. Um, I'm going to finish this in a second. Let me take care of this. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Kuan Yin is eligible for Buddhahood, yet she has vowed to stay near Earth until all beings are enlightened. This youthful and beautiful goddess helps us feel compassion and mercy towards ourselves and others. She's also a protect protectress <clears throat> of women and children, and she awakens musical interests and abilities as well as psychic clairvoyance. Wow, and it's funny, it's had all that third, third eye chakra pain in the beginning for you guys. All right, so let's pull some animal cards, some spirit animals for advice, and then we'll wrap this up. <clears throat> Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Where are we at? 42 minutes? Oh, we might just miss the cutoff. Let's see. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? 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 Not taking those, I didn't feel right. One more. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice? Oh, it's so funny. I was going to call the whale and I was like, no. <laughs> But we do, oh wow, we got a couple other cards here. Dragonfly and the whale, and then we also have the peacock. Wow, do you not see the colors here? Oh my God. All those blues and greens, third eye, throat, and the heart. I was gonna call it, I should have, because I saw it, I literally saw it. My third eye is so open right now. I literally thought, I literally saw it, and I was like, damn it, oh well. Anyway, dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion, energy of 22. This is very third eye energy, by the way. Uh, always screams third eye to me when it comes out whale spirit 
Trust the great mystery. Energy is 65, bring it down to an 11. Two master numbers here. And then we have a cyclical energy. Wow, these are very powerful numbers. Peacock spirit, let it shine. 46, again, very cyclical here. This is coming into an energy of confidence. Major confidence because you understand what you want. You understand and see where you're supposed to be. Um, and I feel like for this emperor, I feel like this is all for the emperor, by the way. I feel like this emperor has been so confused with that Seven of Cups energy and the Ace of Swords universe. So confused, unable to see, unable to understand, even from a psychic perspective um, and realizing, shit, I just need to follow my heart. Like, that's all I have to do. Like, this is a learning lesson for this emperor. All I have to do is follow my freaking heart. Do you not see that peacock right there? That's it. That's all I need to be happy. Follow where my heart tells me to go. And I do feel intuition with this too. A lot of third eye energy. A lot of third eye energy. Damn, I should have called it. Anyway, let's see what else comes out. <clears throat> Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? This emperor might have a tower moment in the form of an awakening or just a huge like download because I feel heavy third eye intuitive psychic energy coming in with this for this emperor that makes them see what they're supposed to do and how to go about things. Any other advice? Oh my god, any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? This is really cute. Oh my god, could it get any more ethereal? Ant spirit, time to collaborate. Energy of one, very three of pentacles energy for me. And then we have white raven spirit, trust in divine. Trust in the magic. That's interesting. Trust in divine. Energy of 66, a master number. You have three master numbers here. 11, 22, 66, a cycle energy, and then one. Yeah, this is big, Cancer, okay? Let me just say that. This is really freaking big. Stepping into understanding how to live life by literally following your heart. This is definitely all for the emperors. By literally following your heart, following your intuition, especially now that your intuition's clear, your third eye is clear, you know exactly, oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, guys, glad so loud. Um, you know exactly where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do, and how you're supposed to build with this queen. It's up to the queen to, to respond. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I was going to miss the cutoff and I didn't. Anyway, it's up to this queen to, resp to respond how they want to go about this, but this seems really divine. All these freaking cards, the whale, the raven, the dragonfly, an energy of speaking truth, following your heart and collaborating with someone. Very divine work going on here. And then overall, <clears throat> moth spirit, surrender now. Energy of 39 breaking down to a three. This is relinquishing control, going with the flow, not being a perfectionist, emperors, not being a perfectionist about it, about any of it, and just going for it. Look at all that fiery energy. And what did I say about the Knight of Wands? A lot of fire. Oh, sorry. Ah. A lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of motivation, and just fucking running towards this queen. Oh, I like it. This queen's gonna be surprised. I can feel it. This queen's gonna be really fucking surprised. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You want what? <laughs> you want to do what? Uh, it's beautiful, though. It's beautiful energy. Cancers, I know you've been waiting for this kind of read for a while. Congratulations to whoever this is for. Again, a lot of freaking love here. A lot of passion. Someone's getting a lot of confidence in themselves, learning to trust their abilities, learning to trust their heart, and following their heart accordingly, regardless of what other people say. Freaking beautiful. All right, Cancers, I'm going to leave you with that. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. Instagram posts will resume in 2020 um and i mentioned the changes to vimeo and the channel earlier today on the live and on patreon i have a public video of the changes i'm making there okay all right guys i'll see you later namaste have a great holiday by the way you'll see me before then but have a great holiday anyway <laughs>